When I was editing the footage for this video on forming the Copper Angel, I noticed that in some of the scenes, the top of my hat would begin to appear in the screen. Now what this means is that I was bending over, essentially craning my neck so that I could see the work that I was forming. So this means that I was bending over the work, whether it was forming on the table or on one of the forming stumps. So I decided there's got to be a better way. And no, you don't have to have a chainsaw or a log. Later, I'll be showing you a much easier way to go about making your own forming block. Here are the three pieces that I sliced off. And if you'll notice that they all have a different angle to them. Like the lower one is going to give the greatest angle. A little bit less angle on the middle one and even less on the top one. The reason that I cut off three pieces is that I wasn't sure of which angle would be the most appropriate or rather which angle would be the most comfortable to work with. Here I'm using the mid-size slice. As you can see, I have dished it out. Here is the narrow part. This is going to set facing me. Just like this, so that the thinnest part is towards me. So I'm going to have a slant. As you can see, I put a couple layers of sweatshirt beneath the block so that it doesn't slide around on the table. And also, it makes it a bit quieter. Just as an example, here's a piece of scrap copper that I hammered out giving this form, and then wire brushing it. I am finding this easier than hammering straight down. So to dish this out, what I used was these wood rasps. It was a set of five. I think it cost me about six dollars. And I am using it here on an air die grinder. If I didn't have an air compressor and a die grinder, I would use an electric drill and put the rasp in that. If I didn't have a log and a chainsaw, I could do very nicely with a piece of pine. Now this is a 2x6. And actually, you're probably better off with a 2x8 or a 2x10. And finding what the best angle is for your work what you feel most comfortable with. And what's good here is that you can try out different angles, whether you want it higher or lower. Now that I'm a little wiser, it would be a good idea to have a wood router or a friend that has a router. It would be much easier to dish this out so that it's exactly right for the type of work that you're doing. This is a good illustration of using the forming block, hammering straight down or at a less severe angle. Now I'm finding this slanted forming block to be much more comfortable. Using this tapered forming block, this is still kind of an experimental idea, so we'll see what the future holds. If you do have a chainsaw, you may want to duplicate what I've done. But either way, whether it's with a 2x10 or a 2x8 or the log, I think you'll find that it is a more comfortable way for forming copper.